Hello, my name is David Marini and I'm from Toro College and today we are going to learn about evidence-based instruction. Here is the title screen. Let's proceed. It's created by me, David Marini, at Toro College School of Graduate Studies in Education and Special Education. Evidence-based instruction is also called EBI. Here is a diagram of evidence-based practices. We begin with informal and informal assessment. Then it goes to preparing differentiated instructional lessons. Then you conduct those lessons with students and the cycle continues. EBI is also the process of collecting data. With this data, then you can uh, educate the students and direct and steer the future instruction. Evidence-based instruction is also part of RTI, uh, Response to Intervention. All instruction should be systematic, make sure it's valid, and it is a uh, part of uh, direct measurement. EBI is also considered research-based instruction. Currently, there are two forms of EBI being used in New York City. One is Dibbles and that is predominantly for elementary school. The other is ARIS, that focuses on middle and high school classes. The breakdown for Dibbles is dynamic indicators of basic early literacy and skills. Here is a homepage uh, at dibbles.org. If you see here, we have the login. Uh, this will allow access for teachers and additional support staff. Dibbles is broken down to design and assess three of the five big ideas of early literacy. The first being phonological awareness, alphabetic principle, and fluency with connected text. We're now in ARIS. We're going to take a look at the ARIS landing page. So this is the home page of ARIS. Here is the login. ARIS is used for analyzing data to improve student outcomes, collaborative problem solving, publishing documents and taking part in discussions and blogs, and networking with other teachers or educators. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you very much. My name is David Marini.